Here's integrated three, it's problem 9-18. It says upon arrival in a virus hot zone, you set up a field hospital to treat patients and attempt to prevent the spread of the virus. For the next 13 weeks, you collect the data shown at right for the number of new infections. Choose several interesting time periods and estimate the average rate of change in new infections. Explain why you chose the intervals you did. So you might, I, I thought this interval right here was interesting because it just looked flat for the first two weeks. So I chose that interval first. So this is from week zero to week two where I see this flatness that seems interesting because it's flat. And I know average uh, rate of change is the same as the slope. So I'm gonna pick this ordered pair seems to be zero comma 700 ish. And then for the two, that seems to be two comma, it's just under 700, so I put 690. Because we don't really know. I mean, we are just got to guesstimate it. So then I'm gonna use my slope formula, y2 minus y1, so 690 minus 700, x2 minus x1, that was two minus zero, and I got about negative five. So they're not really, um, slowing down the virus that much. It's only slowing down by about five cases per week. They're getting five less, five fewer new infections per week right here. Um, I see a nice another, like I see a real big drop. I mean, it starts to kind of like level out right in here. So I'm gonna just choose from two to maybe five. I think that would be nice. So that's another interval, and the reason that in interval seems interesting to me is because it has a very steep drop-off. So um, for this ordered pair, I think I'm going to call it 2, 690. That's going to be x1, y1. And then the ordered pair for five, that's gonna be five comma, I don't know, it looks like it's very close to 200. Should I call it 210? I'll just call it 210. Right, I don't, I don't care if it's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go y2 minus y1, so 210 minus 690 x2 is 5, x1 is 2, so that gives me 5 minus 2 is 3. I don't know what 210 minus 690 is. Let's see. That's negative 480. Divide it by 3. That's about negative 160 cases. So now it's it's dropping a lot faster. So basically I'm getting the slope of the line that connects these two right here. Okay, and I don't think this is the super interesting interval right here because it's just like that's where it flattens out. But I think this one from 10 to 13 is interesting because it's starting to go back up. So I'm gonna I'm kinda lazy. I just want to do three intervals. I said several intervals. I'm doing three. Um, so I'm gonna get some ordered pairs. So I feel like I'm interested from 10 to 13. So from 10 to 13, the Y value that's on the 10 is 200, that's 100, that's 50, it's less than 50. I don't know, I'm gonna call it 30 because I can't really tell exactly what it is. You can guess. And then on the 13, it looks like it's close to 100, but a little bit under it. So maybe it's 90 or 85, I don't know. I'm just gonna call it 90 so I can have easy numbers. And then I'm gonna do Y2 minus Y1. So it's gonna be 90 minus 30 and 13 minus 10. And that's going to be 60, oh, you can't see it, 60 over uh, 3, and that's going to be 20. And it actually went up by 20 cases from this little interval. So all these are just finding the slope. That's what average rate of change is. 
and I explained why I chose the different intervals. You could have cho chosen different, you know, other intervals if you think they're interesting. Um, during what time period were the interventions most effective? I think um, during the time period between two and five weeks, um, we they went down by a lot of cases. So they're getting a lot fewer infections on the very steep part of the graph, where it's very steep. So that's what that's my answer. You might have have a different, a little bit different answer. I'm not even going to write it down, but basically, between the answer for letter B would could be answers may vary, but it could be between two and five weeks, or between two and six weeks, or something like that. And that's because it's a steeper slope. And is there any time time period that's concerning? Yeah, this time period where, I mean, at first this part, this time period between zero and two was a little bit concerning because it looked like it wasn't going to drop off very fast. But this is the most concerning because it almost looks like it's getting ready to go back up. So I would say I'm most concerned about the time period between 10 and 13. Okay, your answers might vary from what's in the um, answer key, and that's totally fine.